Hey guys, my name's Spoon and welcome to my building tutorial, a step-by-step -step process exploring some of the options available to you in the cuboid build space. So if you were like me, at the very beginning of the game when you unlock the base building mode, you were very excited. You saw a picture of the base in the info box on the side of the screen, but then you were let down because all you were able to do was build a one by one square box as your home base and that was it. So I decided to build that base that got me excited at the beginning and share it with all of you too. First off we're going to need over 100 salvage data to unlock all of the building blueprints required for a basic layout. If you're having trouble finding salvage data, feel free to check out my guide for doing so on screen now. Keep in mind that you will want more data for unlocks to actually furnish your base as well. Along with 100 plus data, we're going to need a heap of materials, most notably 7000 pure ferrite, along with a load of glass and silver and various other building materials. So now we have our requirements out of the way, let's look at where you want to build your base. For this one I've decided on an Earth-like paradise planet with no storms and minimal sentinel activity. This is just for aesthetic appeal and is not required. You could build this anywhere. So let's crack into the actual building section now. So once you've decided on where you want to build, let's bring up the build menu, go to structures, large, and select a cylindrical room. Once you've done that, you need to place it roughly in the area that you want your building to start. So this is going to be your pretty much front of your base. Once you place the cylinder, now we need to get a door in there, so go to the door and place it down. This is going to be your front door and it's going to determine the way that your base is going to face. So now we've got our first room down, we want to start expanding. So to do that we're going to be starting off with a 90 degree bend coming out of the right hand side of the room, followed up by a small straight glass corridor. Now to keep things as close as possible to the original picture, we're going to recolor these in white. If you don't know how to do that, once you're in the build menu, Hit your control button, scroll over to colors, and you'll be able to select different color palettes for each material that you place. Once you've done that, we're going to continue expanding out from here. So what you want to do is place down some cubed rooms. It's important that these are the rooms and not the solid cubes, because then we will be able to get inside. So we'll do a row of three down the bottom first and then a row of three up the top, four deep. So now we have our basic base structure layout done. We're going to start off with our patio at the front by placing down a large paving, roughly square with the cylindrical room and then spreading it out in a three by two area at the front. So now to the other side of your first cylindrical room we're going to place two straight glass corridors followed by a long 90 degree bend. This is going to give you a good location for your landing pad. So you, so you place that down there. As you can see it meshes pretty nicely there. Now to finish off the first cylindrical room we're going to chuck down some windows. You have two options here. One's a fairly large like bubble sort of window and the other is like a neat structural window like the ones that we're placing here. I'm going to put down three of those there and then move up to the structure that we built previously and we're going to put windows up there as well. So now that we're starting to flesh our base out we're going to want to put a paving structure underneath the awning that we've created for ourselves up top. This paving structure is just there for aesthetic appeal, it's not really required, but now that we have it there, we're going to put down some foundation struts up the top so it looks like everything's nice and supported. Next up, we're going to want to put some cylindrical rooms up on top of what we've already placed 
just so we can start building more cuboid sections up top. Now for this part you're going to want to put three straight glass corridor sections in front of the rooms that you've just placed, 90 degree bends on each corner, the straight corridors without the windows on the sides, glass corridors on the back side as well. Here we're going to recolor it yellow because that's what it gives us in the photograph that we have. Now we're going to want to put another single room up on the on the right hand side there and that's just so we can do exactly what we were doing before just getting a snap point for our cuboid build menu so now that we have that we can expand on that we're just going to put any building down here and that will give us a snap point to continue from now we're going to do the exact same as the yellow corridor ring below but this time in a 3x3 three three area instead of a 5x3 And then in the middle we're going to want to put a cuboid room as well because that will give us an access point to come up through the center and gain access there. So now on the back side of the base we're going to need to put another cylindrical room. To do that we're going to need to put a T-piece in our little ring room down the bottom. And then we can snap a cylindrical room there and we'll place another one on top as well. Now from that to gain access to the third ring we're going to need to put a T-piece up here as well. Once we've placed our cylindrical rooms and everything up the top, we're going to put a foundation down the bottom and that'll give us a nice supported structural look. Lastly for this area we're going to need to put two more cylindrical rooms on top of each other. Once you're done there we need to go to the back side of the base. This is where I have messed up slightly by not really starting closer to my base computer and my build area is a little bit uh, short here. But as you can see we're going to put a large 90 degree bend corridor followed by two straight sections of glass corridor into a cuboid room. This is where I'd like to remind you that the amount of pure ferrite that you're going to need is huge. This is a big base and it does require a lot of materials. So now we need to expand on the left hand side of the base a little bit more. We're going to start off with a glass straight corridor and then move into two more cylindrical rooms on top of each other. As you can see here, I've just added a, a few little decorations like the flags and things, um, just trying to get it as close to the original design as possible. We'll do a bit of a walk around here. As you can see, I've added some solar panels down the bottom for power.
just did some small furnishings of the basic layout. Now I've just gone through and sort of uh, revamped and improved on the original design to suit what I like a little bit more. I had a bit of a play with the Bikebeat Studio as well, as you can hear that in the background. And we're going to go up there and have a bit of a look at the uh, sort of dance floor that I've tried to create up here as well. Right here we've got our appearance modifier on the base floor. And we'll head out onto the balcony here and here's our bite beat studio and our little dance floor. And we'll continue on going through the base now. Something I did there that I was a bit happy, I was a lot more happy with was actually putting a dividing wall between those two ladders there. Nothing has changed in this room. But coming upstairs here, as you'll see, I've taken out a wall on the side and added a glass corridor into a biodome. The biodome now hosts several different plant varieties from around the galaxy. And on the edge here we have a teleporter. This teleporter gets us up to the top room, which is kind of like the uh, main bedroom. We'll come back down through the biodome. Out the back to near the end of the base, we've added a teleporter as well, just to get rid of that little ladder there. Not much has changed in this room either. And that's it, that's the base that we were originally shown at the very beginning of the game. And also my interpretation of what it should be. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like down below, if you followed this step by step to build your own starter base, please leave a comment down below and let me know what type of planet you chose to build on. Also subscribe to the channel for more No Man's Sky content.